please let's move on with the may 2018 multiple choice question in this video we are going to look at questions 21 to 30. now for the first question over here that's the 21st question you're supposed to find what 1 over 5x plus 2 over 3s equals now to do that we need to make sure that the denominators are the same so we find the LCM of 3x and 5x which is 15x so we need to multiply 5x by 3 in order to get 15x so we must do the same to the numerator over here too, we need to multiply 3x by 5 to get 15x so we need to multiply the numerator too so that will give us this expression now let's simplify the numerator and the denominators to get 3 over 15x plus 10 over 15x now since then denominators are the same we can keep one and add the numerators so when we add the numerators now we get 13 over 15x and the correct answer is option d We want to solve this. If 5 into 2x minus 1 is equal to 35, then x is equal to what value? So we can use two different methods. The first method is this. First of all, so let's divide both sides by 5 to get this. So we can cancel this and this. Then we are left with 2x minus 1 all over 1. So this will also go here once and go here seven times. So the resulting expression with this because two x minus one over one is two x minus one, all equals seven. Now the next thing is to add one to both sides. So seven plus one will be equal to eight. A negative 1 plus 1 will give you 0 creating a 0 pair so 2x is now equal to 8 divide both sides by 2 to get x equal 4 the second method is this first expand to get 10x minus 5 is equal to 35 then add both sides by 5 to get this now I simplify to get 10x equal 40 Divide both sides by 10 to get x equal 4. So we get the same result. Now let's look at the next question, which is question 23. We want to simplify this 3x squared times 2x cubed. So we just multiply the real numbers, then also multiply the variables. This will give you 6x exponent 2 plus 3 because from the law of indices if the bases are the same you add the exponent and that will give you 6x exponent 5 so the correct choice is option A now let's look at this given that 3 times 6 is equal 12 and 2 times 5 is equal to 9 then A times A is not times sorry 3 operation 3 star 6 for 12 2 star 5 equal 9 so we want to find operation a star b what operations are we using to get this or the definition for a star b so we can see that 3 star 6 is equal to 12 now how can we manipulate 3 and 6 to get 12 so we know that if we multiply 2 by 3 and add the result to 6 you get 6 by 6 to get 12 so is that the same for the next so let's see we must use the same approach so 
2 multiply by the first so 2 by 2 plus the last number and that will give you 4 plus 5 which is 9 so it holds so it means that you multiply the first number which is a by 2 then add to the second number therefore a star b the definition is 2a plus b the correct choice is d what about question 25 done this already so question 25 when it is subtracted from a certain number and the result is multiplied by 3 the answer is 21 what is the original number so let the original number be x when we subtract 8 we get x minus 8 then when we multiply the resulting expression by 3 we get 3 into x minus 8. Now, the result is 21, means that we must equate this thing to 21. Now we can solve. We expand to get 3x minus 24. This will give you 3x, and this will give you minus 24 is equal to 21. Then we add both sides by 24 to get this. So 3x is equal to 45. So what number will you multiply by 3 to get 45? It's 3 by 15. So it means x is equal to 15. So the correct choice is D. Uh, let's look at the 26. If x equal negative 2, y equal 3, t equal 2, then x over y equal equation. What value? So we're giving x over y exponent t. So when x equal negative 2 and y equal 3, we do the substitution. And t, t is also equal to, so t is equal to 2. Now let's substitute, substitute appropriately to get this. Um, from the law of exponent, we can share the exponent for them. And now, Negative 2 square means negative 2 times 2, and this means 3 times 3. Now, this will give us 4 because the negatives count positive. 4 over 9 is the correct choice, therefore, the correct answer is option B. What about number 27? Item 27 to 28 refers to the following two matrices P and Q. So, what is the order of matrix Q? So the order of a matrix is given by number of rows by number of columns. So this is row 1, row 1, then row 2. So over here too, this will be row 1, then row 2, then row 3. So we have column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. So the answer will be number of rows is 3 and number of columns is 4. So it will be 3 by 4. The order is 3 by 4. Now, we are dealing with this. And we want to find the determinant of P. So we know for if P is having this, then the determinant is given by A D minus B C. If these are the matrix, the entries of the matrix P, then the determinant is given by this. So given eight, six, seven, five as the entries, then the determinant will be equal to eight by five. Multiply the leading diagonal, subtract the trace to get so 40 minus 42 will give you negative 2. The correct answer is option B. What about question 29? Can you do this? So if the vectors P and Q are this and this, I know you can do this. Then P minus 2 Q is. So the given vectors are this. We have to do the substitution. This is P minus 2 times Q. So we 
we can multiply negative 2 by this and multiply negative 2 by this then this and this will give you positive 2 this will give you negative 8 3 plus 2 so we add the corresponding entries 3 plus 2 then 2 plus minus 8 that will give you 2 minus 8 and that will be equal to 5 negative 6 so the correct answer is option A what about option question 30 you the vectors we solved this already so question 30 for item 30 refers to the following parallelogram so uh, w x y z in a parallelogram r is the midpoint of x y so we want to find z r vector z r based on the given diagram so z r will have arrows going this way then the arrows that will meet z r will be this arrow and this arrow so it means that we can write ZR as ZY plus YR. But we know that because R is the midpoint of R uh, of XY, so we can say that um, R is the midpoint of YX. So we can say that instead of YR, we write half of YX so that we can get it in terms of the whole side of the par parallelogram. But we can see that this is not here, it's none of this. So we need to proceed further. We don't have ZY here. So we need to pick an equivalent vector which is equal to ZY. And this ZY, sorry. So this is the vector equivalent to ZY. This is the vector equivalent to ZY, which is WX. So we place WX here. So WX plus half yx but still we don't get yx here so we need to find an expression which is also equivalent to yx so yx yx you know yx is this and it is equal to this which is zw 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 But we don't have ZW here. We don't have ZW. But we know that from negative vectors, from negative Z vectors, vector ZW, vector ZW is equal to the negative of WZ. Negative of WZ. So instead of substituting ZW, we can put negative WZ over there. So this is what we have and we get this as our final answer so this matched an expression here which is the first expression and the correct option is option a now if you can still see this writing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.